After a few years of absence, Microsoft is returning to Mobile World Congress in Barcelona in February. Today I'm going to tell you what I think they're going to talk about. Stay tuned. Okay, so Microsoft has sent out media invites to Mobile World Congress, which will take place on Sunday, February 24th. Now, what makes this event interesting is Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella will be there, along with Corporate Vice President Julia White and Technical Fellow Alex Kipman. Alex Kipman is a name that you should ring a bell as he's in charge of basically HoloLens and holographic computing at Microsoft. And so that should give you a hint at what's gonna be announced. No, there won't be a phone announced, so you can stop with that right now. No Surface phone. But HoloLens 2 sounds like it could be a go. Now, you may be wondering, why would HoloLens 2 be announced at MWC? It's a really good question, but if you go back to some of our podcasts and previous Ask Dan's, you'll see I've been talking about HoloLens 2 probably using a Snapdragon processor. I've heard this hinted at a lot from our inside sources, and it makes a lot of sense. If you think about it, the original HoloLens ran on an Intel Atom Cherry Trail processor, which is not a very good processor, by the way. And they were really not making those processors anymore, so Microsoft has to find something else to use, and what we presume would be HoloLens 2. Now, the Snapdragon processor is really ideal for this device because if you think about it, it's very small, it's compact, it gets very good battery life, and something like 4G LTE built into HoloLens would be absolutely amazing. Having such a feature would allow you to wear it outside of a Wi-Fi network now for consumers, that's not such a big deal, but if you're thinking about enterprise and businesses and people working out in the field, well, having such a device untethered with long battery life would be absolutely amazing. So I would say there's a very good chance here that we could absolutely see HoloLens 2 running a Snapdragon 850 with some further modifications. In addition, we can probably expect a wider field of view, a smaller design, exceptional battery life, and I wouldn't be surprised if that price tag comes down a little bit too. Now, I still expect this to be positioned toward towards corporate, enterprise, and businesses, not necessarily consumer, but we may see them talk a little bit about that as far as the potential for it, but still, I only see Microsoft pushing this towards business, and they've been seeing a lot of progress and success with this, so it goes without saying, I'll be at Mobile World Congress at the end of February, so pay attention for that big announcement there. We'll, of course, give you all the news, but don't expect any new phone, but HoloLens too, fingers crossed, sounds like it could happen. All right, so that's what I think will be announced here in Mobile World Congress, but leave me a comment below. Tell me what you expect for HoloLens 2 if it's gonna be announced. What else you would like to see from Microsoft? If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.